And we're back with Early Creatures of Land, wherein we are an amphibian. Let's see what we've got here, Gaia. The Coast of Pange. We are... Fail. We look kind of angry and emo. Welcome to the world of amphibians! If you evolve your tail, you will increase your jumping ability and your hit points. But yeah, that, that will be quite important. We need an awesome tail. Let's see what's up here. Absolutely nothing! You hear someone whispering in the air above you. Captain, the green crystal has the power to change your body back to the way bef it was before, doesn't it? Y yes But Captain, isn't it wrong to operate the process in reverse? This crystal must be bad for the evolution process. Absolutely not. I will not take responsibility for anything that happens. It is still good for the future of this planet. I wonder what that was all about. Now, see, we have gained Review of Evolution. It will let us turn into any of those saved forms. What? A fish on land, however, is about as useful as you would probably expect. And back in the ocean already, eh? And we can swim. This is of relatively little importance. There's all sorts of celecanth in the water. I think they show up in every single stage. Uh, um, we are quellafish. Quella fish. It is very difficult for us to evolve or fight against other creatures, so we stay as we are. They are, however, actually kind of badass. I'm not going to demonstrate because I'd rather not get my butt handed to me. There's a little point to it. It's the end of the game. I don't think they even give much Evo points, either. The frog mouth. You got a frog mouth! The only thing that transfers between stages is your character's size. So, since we were a large creature, of timid as to God, Yeah, it's actually harder to look to level up here than it looks like it would be just because they're cowards. We've got to body blow them. Next area is the one we'll be leveling in, if I remember correctly. It is the land of Bull Ikustobergebe. Yeah, they're like they're like us, but mean. But they will actually stick around to fight. And you cannot chain jump on them either, so... They are kind of annoying to deal with too, but they will stay. do something for us. Besides look cool. Ooh, it gave us the strength we needed to one-shot them. Yes. Yes. 
this. We will be doing this forever. Yes, now that we're out of the ocean, night can fall. In the nighttime, things sleep. They'll wake up if you do anything to them, but as you can see, they really don't care. Or cannot survive. They won't go to sleep if they're on screen, but they will wake up if they're on screen when day hits. I may end up- I will probably end up shrinking back to small size for the final boss of this area, just because it's... If you get hit, you are pretty much dead. I'm not even kidding, it's... Unless I've gotten a lot better and just remember how to fight it, it could take forever. It could be an entire video. Let's look at this guy, one little guy, because he's totally poning us. Stop kicking my ass! That is the one thing about the body slam attack. This stage is a whole lot more about jumping and some biting. And irritating, jumpy enemies. Yeah, once we get the springtail, we will be able to jump to a very well, it'll be more impressive than it is now. And so we can just kind of jump like that. Haha! -ha. Right now we've just kind of got this vestigal fish thing. It's all like swishy swishy. It is fairly important to be large when you leave the water area, even if you were using a small body, just because, well, as demonstrated, you can get 50 quickly and then get 3 strength, but if you're medium, you're only, or if you're small, you've only got 1 strength to start with, so you won't be able to body snap them. Huh. We've got, we've got 3, or 500, so now we can get the spring tail. what bases are jumping on it. I think it's like half our strength, so... Trampoline Escuga! Arrgh. They're still annoying. Especially because we can't one-shot them. I mean, look at those guys go flying! Isn't that hilarious? You're committing genocide! Oh yeah, and dragonflies are... Well, you need a good jump to be able to even get them. If I could get one more point of strength, I could just take out these bulls with no trouble. Aside from the whole, it puts the meat at the level of what your head was at when the derp 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 I forget what I ended up using way back when. I also forget what exactly the back of the head things are. I know they do stuff. And that stuff is stuff that we want. Yes. So, I I'm going to abuse save states solely to see what all the back of the head things do. We have Whooper. We get a fly. 
I'm not too fond of the flying, though. At least not yet. Curl? Er, er, whatever. High speed! I'll probably end up using this one for the, for the last boss. Unless there's something else that I get used to. Jiprol! Let's see what Jiprol does! Incredible biting power! I don't know how this gives us incredible biting power, but... Probably the one I want for now. Oh, it's defense. I was hoping one of these would add to strength. Well, defense is never a good, bad thing, though. The way the first boss of this area works, I'm gonna go with defense. Just because he's an annoying fellow. In case I'm going to... Oh, they do go to sleep if they were on screen. In any case, that is the land of Bull Estukega. Thingy mer her mer Going to save for now. And I'll see you all later. Bye.